She's beautiful outside and very dirty inside. She is a kleptomania. Exciting. Her three brands are about to unfold. I said, Where is the money? They have policy reasons for your business. You came home with it. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! What happened to the engagement ring in this case? The other day I told you she was trying to steal my wristwatch. She didn't believe me. Today she was trying to pocket my handset. She's a thief! Yet she looks innocent. Next we take her round the entire village. Make it this night! Yes! 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 I will disown you, chicken. I said, what did you do to her? The question is, are you sure you know her well enough? Hey, 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 How can a common man suddenly turn to a thief in my father's house? You're You're not the way I am. Death? Speak to me in such pain? You're the. Your sentiments should not be ignored. You address me as your highness? I want you to pack your belongings as soon as you see the light of day. That is a woman who has no shame. A woman who has the effort. The gods sleep on the woman in this. What on her your very nose? And you do nothing about it. You hide behind the It is my giving you. Where is she? What happened? It's a low one. It's a low one. In of the maidens. Hey! I am the law and order. And give something fun to others. But for those whom I choose to call my own. The king and his nephew fall death and upon you. I am the queen. How can a common man suddenly turn to a queen in my father's house? You dead? Speak to me in such days. That is a woman who has no shame. A woman who has the gods. The gods speak to your father in this world. You your very nose and you do nothing about it. The children did this even with my own wife. And I can easily destroy that. A new man! A new man! What the hell? You tell us what? You tell us? I will. You will. As soon as you see the light of day. Yes, ma'am. Hey, 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 hey. You can have my queen. How do you plan now? You can have a hundred people there and you have no justice. Well, that's the only thing. You indicated. You let us pregnant. And you confessed that you are responsible. Be your own privacy and confess to God alone if your guilt is weighing you down. The lady, you are awesome. I gave him my anger. You should know me. This is why I am my deep cross movie productions with the air. Shop for Zebra's Plaza. I love the international capital of George Lagos. Best life in the kingdom. 143 in London as it goes to the little Lagos. It's coming. We spent the last weekend together, didn't we? I mean, did I overreact? By throwing the drink at him, I even throw his drink at him, I didn't overreact. Uh, I brought you flowers. Because that's what you are to me. Smelling flowers. That's never. Things are not always going to be like this. Mm -hmm. I'm certain. Things will change. You can't continue to suffer. Just be here and suffer like this. All the girls, they carry themselves in a certain manner. And then they go around sleeping with men. Do you ever hear of uh, Tupac and Biggie Saga? You should have blown off the green 
of that girl, man, and pulled out the manhood of that asshole. There is no responsible man that will get into a fight just because a girl turns him down. This baby has the right things in the right places. Yeah. Trust me, I'm a bloody hip hop fan, baby. And uh, does he actually have to, you know, obtain my consent before he married Beyonce? I now pronounce you man and wife, and you'll be peace of bride. Everything you do is 
the right, alright. So long as you could be my wife, alright. Everything you do is alright, alright. True love you never pass for life, alright. What I'm missing more, I got my nugget, I got my nugget, I got my bullet, 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 I got my Everything you do is alright, alright. So long as you go be my wife, alright. Everything you do is alright, alright. So alright. Will love you never pass for life. Love me now, oh, you love me now. <laughs> What's a tragedy, my girl? <laughs> a tragedy of momentous proportion. Wait a minute. You mean you've been giving all this to just one man? Yeah. <laughs> Baby, you don't have to be stingy about this, okay? Be a cheerful giver. Um, look, guys, um... You all seem like very nice people, you know, very nice people. Um, actually, I was just going home. Like I said, I, I, I'm married, guys. I'm, I'm married. My man. <laughs> Jay, this one are correct. You will take her. Me and BJ don't mind. We go with the remnant. You know what I mean? Hey, guys, let's get down with this chick, man. What are we wasting time for? I know you're trying to play hard here, okay? But forget it. I'll pay you off. You need money? You want me to show you? Okay, fine. I think I think we are getting this whole thing misunderstood. Um, I'm actually a medical doctor, a, a, a surgeon, like I operate on people. You know, so I, I'm I'm not a prostitute. A doctor? Shit! <laughs> a surgeon? <laughs> Look, man. If I were sick, this is the type of doctor I want to take care of me. Go give me some treatment, baby. I'm not, I'm, I'm not a prostitute. I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding. Seriously. Look, I'm married. I'm married, okay? I'm married. Don't do this. Stop. Please. Stop. 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 Stop.
Television in my sitting room. Go to bed. You know, after such a fairy tale wedding, you think it will end up happy ever after. And yeah, there is no such thing as a fairy tale that only exists in movies and books. Girl, grow up. This is the 21st century where every woman deserves a right to be happy and should be happy. What does the man want you to do? Sit at home and knit him a sweater? You know, as crazy as Susan can be sometimes, I think she actually makes a lot of sense. You know what? I mean, how is that possible? How is that really, really possible? We all had fantasies, beautiful fantasies, of how our wedding would turn out to be. You know, but seriously, <laughs> none of us have had one tenth of that. Yes, except for you and Boyd. You're so lucky, girl. You're really, really lucky. Seriously. I should have joined Katy in this thing, if not for the tragic incident. You know all this, I mean, I'm supposed to be at home waiting for my husband to come back for once. I don't get it. I don't understand this country. When I mean, you say that our leaders actually prefer to go abroad to get medical services rather than put money into our hospitals for us to all enjoy good facilities. I don't get it. So well, do they even feel it to start with? All they do is to take the Esther codes and, you know, have the bills settled with taxpayers' money. And that's all. They don't feel it. God will help us. Tell me, how is the investigation going? Seriously, no improvement at all. It's just static. You know, I'm confused myself. We haven't had any luck since. But you know, one thing I am certain is that we're going to catch these creeps. And when we catch them, I promise you, I will put them in prison for the rest of their miserable lives. <sighs> you know, ever since I've been practicing law, I've seen a lot of things happen. Traumas. Everything. 
but I have never seen a woman get molested. And I shut up. I don't feel a thing. <laughs> you know what? It is so terrible. I mean, so, so terrible. The other day, I... I saw her actually staring into space. Oh, God. I mean, I, I felt so bad for her. I was so sad. <sighs> well, she's a professional. And as a medical practitioner, she knows she's ought to be speaking to someone. But you know who Kitty is. She's so stubborn. I don't know why she doesn't want to see you shrink. I mean, that would help her, isn't it? It would improve her situation. I just wish I could force her to do this myself, you know? You know, I, I feel so hurt inside because my brother is so terrible. I mean, he, he keeps blaming her for all this. I don't even know what he's thinking. He keeps blaming her for the same thing. Now tell me, really seriously tell me, which woman would love to be raped? Which woman? No woman at all. Yes. On the other hand, your brother might be Experiencing his own fair share of um, psychological trauma. Well, that's not an excuse. Because he's lucky. Because if he got married to me, and something like this creeps into our lives, and he treats me the way he's treating her, I will end him. I will make him know that I did not go to school to read law for nothing, and I know my rights. He is so lucky, Dory. <laughs> Seriously. Every time you talk to him about this, he keeps saying trauma, trauma, trauma. Was he the one that was raped? Was he? Oh God. I mean this this whole thing is crazy. Hey! Hi there. Kati, what are you doing here? Well, I I just couldn't stay at home doing nothing, so I decided to come and work. You know, the idea of the casual leave is for you to have a little R&R. &R. Well, well, you and I know that um, I function better when I'm working. Oh, how are you doing? Well, thank God. I'm hanging in there. You know, it's not been very easy, but... Hanging there, girl, um, it's not easy, truly. Um, the police issue, what? Any clue yet? Uh, so far, nothing. I haven't heard anything from them, but I mean, I, I'd rather not talk about it. Uh, tell me, what's been happening around here? What about that lady, you know, the lady I operated on, on the night of my unfortunate um, incident? You know, she's alright. Um, your procedures were okay, and um, there were no complications. She was discharged yesterday. Wow, that's fantastic. Okay, so bring me up to speed. No, you don't. After what you've been through, I'm still of the opinion that you go on with your leave. Feel, 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 come on. I mean, what am I doing at home? It doesn't make sense to just stay at home all day, do nothing, mope, think, and all that. It's better I come at least right here, I have company, and you know, I have work to do, and all that. Kati, you and I know you're not okay. You just want to hide behind work. Well, um, if not for the fact that we have shortage of personnel, I wouldn't have allowed you to walk in so soon. That's so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so how has it been? How is what's been happening around here? Have you read this? Yes, I have. It's an old paper. <laughs> of course it is. You know I always like to catch up on newspaper whenever I travel out of this country. <laughs> Tony, I keep telling you to use a laptop. You can get information from Nigeria, from Asia, when you browse their website. <laughs> Anyway, who has that time? Besides, I belong to the old school. <laughs> I rather read the hard copy. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, the police are still investigating the incident. <sighs> I feel so bad. Honestly, men can be animals at times. Huh? I heard that woman involved is one of their finest doctors. Yeah, it's one of those things. Senator, I think it's time to start the day. Oh, okay. Anyway, how's my son? Do you know that rascal didn't seem fit to call me all the period I was out of this country? <sighs> um, 
Senator, um, I think um, it's time you have a word with your son. He has started again. Any woman I thought is put to school, and I know you make a good girl. I can't take this girl. harassment any longer. What is wrong with you? Do you want to rape me? Look, I do pay if that is your way. Come on, Vicky. Get out! You know I love you. Is that why you are disturbing the whole neighborhood with your music? Come on, they need to feel my wax like wax, you know. Come on, Vicky, you know. I'm... My name is Victoria. All right, Victoria, you know I'm done with you. I love you. you know. Love. What do you understand about love, young man? Just go to bed, you're drunk! Shit! Why do you keep calling me young man? Huh? What is the age difference between you and I? Is it because you're a graduate and I'm not? Because you keep behaving like a kid. Shit! Look, Vicky, I've had women, girls that are much more finer and older than you. You see why I called you a child? Junior, let's not just start this again. Your mother's warned you of me. See, Vicky, you and I know the only reason she hired you was only just to make you my wife. You know it. In your dreams, you just give yourself too much importance. I mean, why did you just face your studies and uh, stop squandering your mother's money? To hell you to her, huh? She... Who the hell are you to tell me how to do your mother's money, huh? It is my mother's money, and I decide what I do with it, okay? Rubbish! That's your prerogative. Yes. As you said, I'm a hired help. And that is what you are! But let me warn you. When next you try that with me again, I will deal with you. And I don't care what your mother says about that. Shit! I do not have to go and get myself a real woman. Get out of my life! Don't get this big dog. Rubbish. Just get out! Rubbish! You and Junior are always at each other. That one will think your husband and wife. Uh-uh. Honorable, this is a serious matter. And if this continues, I'll have to leave the house. And that's not the only thing. The other time, he forged your signature and withdrew 600000 from your account.
I love what I see, girl. How much will it cost you for a night? Sorry, I don't go cheap. Neither do I talk cheap. Just give me a good night and I'll make it worthwhile for you. Really? Are you sure you're going to be fast? Just name your price. Okay. 50,000. 50,000? Uh huh. Alright, a deal. But before that, come to me. What? That boy. That boy will not kill me. <sighs> anyway, I'll talk to him, okay? Senator, that's what you always say. Honestly, you're spoiling that boy. Who would you have me to? He's my only son. The only thing I have in this world. Don't worry, uh -huh. I understand. We just have to do something. Are you sure? You know, I, I don't see why I deserve all this goodness from you. <laughs> Oh, baby, come on. You're like you, the hottest wife that I know. Really? Yes, and even if wifey don't deserve you, I really do. Really? Yeah. I don't even know why I didn't meet you before I married that woman. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're the true definition of a domesticated woman. I mean, oh my God. the African <laughs> All this just for me? No, all this for you, baby. You deserve every bit of it. <laughs> Guys, we've been drinking all day. Are you sure we're good to go on this? Turn some drink! Pop something! Are you sure we're good to go? Pop something! Alright, alright, alright. I have 7 o'clock classes tomorrow morning, okay? Where are you? Just That's come. That's the dogs, man. I want to give you a moment so I should leave you and go home. Man, I'm getting high. Alright, I'm waiting. Just hurry. Wow. Money rules the world. I've got money! 
Yeah, we spend money tonight, you know? So guys, where we close it? Tucano will be better. Tucano? Yeah. What do you think? No, no, no. I think we go to basement. Basement, basement, basement. No. Tucano will be better. Basement is the place, man. Yes. Wherever we go, we go clubbing. There's money. I mean, real good money. We go clubbing at Tucano. He be fine, man. Come on, bro. He is So what are you saying? <laughs> Girls, I know he's my brother, but sometimes he can be as stubborn as a mole, trust me. And you didn't know that was your family trait, did you? Well, as I was saying before I was really interrupted by her, you know, we've been friends for God knows how long. I was just hoping we could just go away for a weekend, you know, to have fun. And maybe they could settle their rift there. Sincerely with me, I have no problem with us going for a weekend. But I just don't understand why their problem should be the reason why we go for a weekend. I, I know you guys have issues and everything. And still, are you in any way trying to tell us the need to be the motive? I mean, for crying out loud, Sue, where on earth would a woman constantly, 24-7, nag and argue with her husband? Look, 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 whatever, I'm sorry. I will always, always stand up for women. That is my job. I will advocate for women. I will not see a woman get molested by the wife. But in your case, that girl, you are constantly battering that poor guy. Listen, listen, the moment he stops acting like a fucking, like a freaking teenager, then I will stop. God, you guys don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, yes. You have no idea. I mean, what do you think you're going through? It's nothing compared to what Katie is going through. I mean, it's the fact that she has a trauma about the incident. She's still having challenges with my brother. Yes. Well, for me, men are so unkeen. I mean, this is the woman who has gone through the worst ordeal any woman can ever go through. And what does he do? He doesn't eat her, her food. He doesn't touch her. For me, that's bullshit. That's your brother. That's the problem. <laughs> I disagree with you, sir. Look, it is so 2008. It's so unfashionable. Really. Call it challenges. That would be. You know, look, seriously, girls, as Curtis' lawyer, I have a very good mind to tell Curtis to sue Pete. No, 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 it's my brother you're talking about. I know. So hold it. Yes. Isn't this the same brother who is terrorizing your friend? Truth be told, wasn't Weren't you the one who deceived Katie to marry your brother? But it is true. Mm -hmm. I mean, you see that right now. It's true. Right no, 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 no. But then, okay. Sure. Sure. What she said. 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 I call a spade a spade, okay? What Pete is doing to our friend is not right. You know it. Look, so everybody knows that. But we didn't have a refuse to do this. Sit down here and argue with both of you, okay? So please, let's just drop it. Hey, Junior, come, come, come. Girl behind you. That's a pretty damn so, man. Damn! You know what I mean? I'm mean? gonna do what you know to do best. Shit, man! I can't afford to miss this, man. <laughs> man, hey, go hey, with hey, the hey, fucking hey, cigarette. Hey, 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 really? This for the all right, all right, all right. Good luck, good luck, man. Good luck. Man. That's my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, baby. Oh, it's you again. Why don't you understand I'm not your type? Why have you been too difficult, baby? I could make your dreams come true, you know? No, you can't. No, you can't. Just mention anything. As fast <laughs> as humanly possible, you have it. Wow. You mean it? Anything. 
Are you promising you're going to do it? Just make a wish and Santa will grant it. Okay. This is my wish. I wish you stop disturbing me. <laughs> but you see? How can I trust someone who doesn't keep to his promises? Oh, please. What are you trying to do? Walk away, huh? Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I will give you out my money! <laughs> hey, she didn't know this is all about the big jobs, man. <laughs> Can you imagine a world without men? I mean, a world where we are free of all these nasty beings called men. How wonderful it would be. You know what? It would be so boring. I mean, because we won't have anyone to console us from the likes of you. Okay. See what she's doing. I, I totally agree to drop this. No more fights. Please, ladies, girls. You know what? Let's not mind. V. How is it legally possible for me to lock up Greg for, say, about a week? Okay. So what would I be charging your husband for? Just so I can rest, I am tired. Please. Oh, okay. Truthfully, this bloke has got my fancy and I was hoping on, you know, fornicating with him. <laughs> you know, fornicating is too small a word. Committing adultery. Sue! What? Hello, <laughs> Sue. You know, you are really crazy. Like, you're the craziest girl I've ever met in life. Sometimes I just really think that you need to... Check. 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 And you're not checking yours. Are you in any way I'm crazy? Sue? So, no, no, calm down. <laughs> you are getting there. <laughs> See, oh my remember those days when we had nothing to worry about? We woke up and all we could care about was partying. Men. Party, more men, more parties. That was so fun. Now look at us, bored. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, yeah, seriously. You know, if I may recall, some of us didn't have fathers who could pull strings. I mean, we read really hard. Yeah, oh, there we go again yeah. with the next show. She's so boring. <laughs> Don't even stop. How does this look? Whatever. Back to the topic. Stop it. No. Don't gang up. <laughs> Back to the topic. Yeah. Seriously, girl. Seriously. Concerning the weekend, have fun. I mean, those in favor, can I hear? I. I. And I, oh, well, <laughs> I see it's the game Oh, whatever. <laughs> That's fabulous. Thank you. Fantastic. So, seriously, we'll all take our husbands to the Five Star Hotel. Good evening! I didn't think the weekend of sex and sit down. Oh, that would be fun. Really? And he's a like useless vagabond can be put into this. Oh, he's yeah. so useless. How can you be this useless? <laughs> useless and jobless. Does it go? You're just such a mean fool. Mean fool, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, listen, concerning the whole weekend thing, yes, um, I suggest that, um, I mean, the problem here will be Pete, you know. Who to convince Pete? He might be so out of it. Yes. But I think, um, Vivian should convince Boyd to talk to Pete. And, um, Susan, yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. You have nothing to worry about, sweetie. I want the shit. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. yes. <laughs> don't worry about it. Okay? That's good. See, I haven't seen Jake for a while. What, what, what has been happening That's with you? Yeah. I mean, has he dumped you for newer, fresh out of Sweetie, you're growing a bit old and you look oh, a bit really? wrinkled, darling. Are you serious, darling? <laughs> yeah. Well, I might be an older model, but seriously? I still want five. Yes, girl. Yes. I shall stop her. I shall stop her. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What, what, what is it? So, is that not a stretch mark on me? I have a stretch mark. No, it's so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's terrible. Oh my god. 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 We're 
small chick. Have you heard that she was raped? Gosh. Every man was a man like this. I come to tell you. Abi, what do you come to the coffee? You are that sick. Sick guy who will not do that. What do you tell me? Over and over. What did you say? Repeat what you just said. God damn it! Tell me what you said. I said that you can't you're pretty. I've always told you to set up on your own. You're good at finances. Why don't you just start a consulting firm? Yes, you can do it. Well, yeah, I've thought about it. But Susan doesn't know that uh, I've been speaking with her and some other guys. You know, we're sort of networking to start a new firm. Hold on. Is it the same Claire we were talking about? You bet. That's her. Susan will put a bullet in your ass. She will kill you when she finds out. You know it. No, but she, she made me lose my job that first time. But at that time, I wasn't having nothing to do with Claire. But now that I'm having something to do with her, I think this is the best time for me to do it. Besides, she is my meal ticket. And she's carrying my air. Uh, you're joking. No, 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 no. You must be joking. No, I'm serious. Chris, carrying my baby. Oh my goodness! You're just setting yourself up for a whole lot of grief, my friend. Shit happens, man. Shit happens. Ah. Well, I was on you. Uh, heavy night yesterday. I just need a little cough syrup to take me off this edge of hangover. Well, then what are we waiting for, then? Oh, boy. This is still working hours. Are you okay? Well, judging from your appearance, it looks like you haven't even done nothing this whole morning. Yeah, that's true. Let's go then. Good. That's my boy. You're a bad influence. That's what you are. You've done nothing wrong. This whole thing was just a mistake and a, a moment of total weakness on my part. I love you now so very much. No, you don't love me. You're just infatuated with me. That's it. And we both know there is nothing good can come out of this relationship. I'm a married man. I told you I'll keep it to myself. Nobody will know. I need you. Please do this. Please. Dren, please, please. I beg you in the name of God. Please. 
You, you're not taking the church into consideration. What if the church finds out? I don't care. You don't care? I don't care. I'm going to be disgraced and so do you. All I know is that I need you. I want you so much. I'll do anything for you. Please, don't tell me. Don't ask me to leave you. What are you doing? To make love to you. I miss you so very much. Make love to me? out of your mind? Huh? This is the house of God. This is so what? Is it not a God of love? He understands. Please, let's go. Get a hold of yourself. You hear me? I'm in a simple relationship with you and I will not desecrate it in the house of God. You hear me? But why? What are you doing? You know, there's this saying that what goes around comes around. The eye junior has changed it. That what goes around goes from there. That's my dog, man. Look, the world wants a money. And my mother has made that money. We got the money to spray around, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nothing will happen. Maybe you will give me your father's number. And I will call him. And tell him how his stupid son is wasting his money drinking. Chad! Chad! <laughs> what is your problem, huh? <laughs> Why do you keep dissing me? Now tell me. Are you protecting the girls I've had in the past? I'd advise you to go join your friends. My brother could be very protective. I don't want any problems. Who the fuck is in this school? I run this school. I control the cost of this school. That's the game, man. Who they be? <laughs> No, come on, babe. Just sit now with me. We'll change a lot of things about you. Ew! You You're so full of shit. Get back here! Who the hell are you to walk away from me? Huh? Get your hands off me, you creep! And if I just do that, what will you do about it? Fuck you up! It's not going to be that. On the kicker's voice. Who the hell are you? The question we say, who you be? I am Senator Alakai Deshaun. Now, if you wouldn't mind, I am having a private conversation. Jeboy, please free this girl. That Undertaker. To hell with him then! You know what I mean? Let her be. To hell with him. Hey, we are leaving you. Free this girl! <laughs> I'll fuck you up! Oh, wow. How to see shine a bastard. No. You see this drink? I'm going to lead it to your grave. For the last time. Leave this bitch before I fuck you up. Baby, I beg. Leave her, my baby. Me will go. I beg, I don't want problem. I beg, sit down at this, sit down before this mother can't jam me. You understand? I beg, I
Mana musim kini? Mana musim cina di kedai saya? Aku, mana musim musim tak iya ber? Papa. My name is John Igetuko Gaff. Ibu, I thank you. Nigerians, Africans, in fact, the world over. I thank you immensely. I want to thank you for your patronage. I want to thank you for your support. I want to thank you for watching our movies. Join hand and say thank you so much. But we are not happy at all. We will not eat again all because of policy. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight things. Twelve, five. No, 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 Call police when you pass me. Now, please. Every time you buy a film and you see thousands and hundreds and tens of films, it is fake. If you buy them, you don't join them. No, you don't. It is if you buy them. You don't be able to talk. You're not clear. God did not give me talent and say, come and make people rich and make people happy and remain poor. Want us to start begging on the streets? Eh? Abi, start doing by me and Abi. Ask them all. This is an economic sabotage. Please. Don't buy it. Put any information about piracy. We will send you text or email us and you will get handsome reward. Our telephone is 0816627341 or 0805237403. Our email is antipiracywalk at yahoo.com. She's beautiful outside and very dirty inside. She is a kleptomania. She wishes to be an exciting for three drivers about to fall. I said, Why is the money? They have all this in this interview. You came over here. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut What happened to the engagement ring in this case? The other day I told you she was trying to steal my wristwatch. She didn't believe me. Today she was trying to pocket my handset. She's a thief. You she looks innocent. Let's we take her round the entire village. Make her this night. Yes. 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 I will disown you, chicken. I said, what did you do to her? The question is, are you sure you know how well enough? Hey, 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 How can a common man suddenly turn to a thief in my father's house? You're coming. You're not the only one in this house. Death? To be in such pain? Your resentment should not be ignored. You address me as your highness? I want you to pack up your belongings as soon as you see the light of day. That is a woman who has no shame. A woman who has the energy. The cops sleep in the woman who has the best. Not under your very nose, how are you doing nothing about it? You hide behind this white boat. You keep this wise, even with my own wife. You! Where is she? It's a low one. It's a lost. End of the maidens. Hey! I am the law and order. If something wants to have it, or for those whom I choose to call my own. The king and his nephew both get a abomination. I am the queen. How can a common man suddenly turn to a queen in my father's house? Death? Speak to me in such days. That is a woman who has no shape. A woman who has the essence. The gods speak to your father in this Go from under your very nose. How you been looking about? The children are even with my own wife, and I can easily destroy that thing. A new man! And if you want to have powers, you should take what I am doing. You know what? You tell us, I wish you were to rest as soon as you see the light of day. Yes, ma'am. Hey, 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 hey. You can have with my queen. How to do that? You can have with Angela to sit out and you have with us. Well, the case is a case. The case is a case. She gets pregnant. And she confessed that you are responsible. Ah! 
being your own privacy at the first court alone if your guilt is weighing down? Yes, lady. I believe that. This is the This is the Shop 4, Zebra Spins, and the International Market for Joy. Best Life Productions. 143, and the Little Lakers. The Lady. Bloody bastard! Bloody wink! Hey man, the fucking girl refused to dance for me and was making jest of me, man. I had to beat the living shit out of my ass. I mean, I didn't even see the signs coming. We spent the last weekend together, didn't we? I mean, did I overreact? By trying to drink at him and even trying to drink at him, I didn't overreact. I brought you flowers. Because that's what you are to me. Smelling flowers. Nice Things are not always going to be like this. Mm -hmm. And second, things will change. You can't continue to suffer and just be here and suffer like this. All the girls, they, they carry themselves in a certain manner. And then they go around sleeping with me. Do you ever hear of uh, Tupac and Vicky Saga? You should have blown us the brain of that girl, man, and pulled out the manhood of that asshole. There is no responsible man that will get into a fight just because a girl turns him down. This baby has the right things in the right places. <laughs> I'm a bloody hippo fan, man. And uh, does he actually have to, you know, obtain my consent before he married Beyonce?
Greg the bull. So you see, do this lie. Even with your joblessness and tribes in between two women. You see the book Nash. I lie. The Lord is my shepherd and he knows what I like. What do you do with the nag, eh? If you do, you should complain. If you don't do, you should complain. What do you go do now? Two wrongs cannot make it right. Are you born now? Are you the pastor? Let's leave matters to Matthias. Besides, let me ask you a question. If you had a woman like Susan at home, what would you do? Would you cheat or you wouldn't cheat? You knew her before you married her, isn't it? You knew that she was like that. So why are you complaining? Oh, no, why are you talking about Would you cheat or would you cheat? Yes or no? Greg, what is worse than a defiled woman? I can't stand the sight of Katy anymore. All I see are all the men ripping her. But you know, that wouldn't make me to start gallivanting. No, no, my guys, where you're going right now is too cold. Don't, don't even go there. Cathy went through a very traumatic incident and she doesn't just need this right now, okay? It wouldn't have happened if she listened to me. It wouldn't have happened. Times without number. I warned her. Greg, I kept warning her of her coming home late. But Katya wouldn't listen. She's so caught up with this saving humanity thing. And now, see what humanity has cost her. Listen, you're taking this a long way. Alright? I know how you feel. I don't blame anybody for what has happened. If Katie needs somebody, it's you she needs. And she needs you now. It's not as easy as you say. I mean, how comfortable will you be? Sleeping with your wife, knowing that she has slept with three other men. Who knows what they might have infected her with? Hmm? Who knows? Don't even say that, okay? Don't. Katie doesn't deserve what you're saying. Don't even say what you're saying. Oh, it is I who deserve it, right? I'm the one that deserves it. Isn't it? Now, let's analyze this. How am I sure she didn't enjoy it? She might enjoy a little bit of rough sex, you know? You know, at this point in time, I can call you a Carlos bastard. I got a beg, let's leave this heavy talk and continue drinking, because that's what I feel like doing now. Please, get us the bottle and uh, some ice. A toast to our women. May they not lead us into temptation and an early grave. No, to the asshole I know you to be. Bring me your friend and I will tell you who you are. If I am an asshole, then you are a bigger asshole. That's what you are. But seriously, we need to listen to the ladies, okay? We need to take this weekend of all of us. And you and Katy need to sit down and sort things out. What good will that do? Greg, what is done is done. I cannot touch Kathy again. So what? You're saying you're not going to come? As long as you guys are coming. I'm sure it's gonna be fun. I'm looking for every excuse and avenue to get drunk. Like I'm doing now. What a big deal.
losing to that we need to enter him now. I think she must have left the office because she was upset with some house man students. And you're telling me now? Do you know be beating her all the while? I'm sorry, sir. Just give my money because of the emergency. Send someone to my office. Use my phone to call her and tell her to meet me at the theater now. Okay, you know what? Um, it's just going home, but I will. I'm going to turn. I'll, I'll just come back. I'll come back to the hospital like right away. I'm, man, I'm turning. I'm turning. You're going to make me have an accident. I'm coming back. Seriously, you need to come around. Why? I don't see what good my coming will do, baby. Mommy, she's your daughter-in-law. I know. I do feel sorry for Katie. But I cannot come until she and her husband tell me to. Mommy, seriously, you have to come here. You really have to come. We need you around. Seriously. I feel sorry for Katie. I do really do feel sorry for her. But in matters of the heart, I really don't want to get involved. I don't want to become a third party. A third party? No, Mom, you cannot be a third party. You are a mother. For Christ's sake, you are a mother. You cannot be a third party. If it was you, I would do the same thing. I would do the same thing, baby. No, I will not come. All right? I mean, just tell her. Give her my love. Tell her I'm praying for her. And that's it. Mommy, she doesn't need prayer. She needs to come talk sense into your son. Okay, she doesn't need your prayers. Baby, there is nothing I can do that prayer will not do times two. So I really don't want to get myself involved in this. Do you understand? Please. Are you seriously? You're not actually coming? I will when they've sorted things out, okay? Then I can come and see them. <sighs> Alright, bye baby. Bye. Yeah, so who is this young man and how did he get stabbed? I understand his name is Junior. I guess he was involved in a cult fracas. He actually has multiple stabs on his abdomen and the wounds are septic. Okay, let's see what we can do. Huh? Oh, there you are. Girl, I've been praying seriously to have you close by because you have the expertise for this. Uh-huh. <laughs> If I were sick, this is the type of doctor I want to take care of me. Come give me some treatment, baby. Are you okay? Oh my god! Oh my god! That's, that's the bastard! That is the bastard who raped me! Are you sure? What? I have never forgotten this face for one minute. I do cannot deny this love that I have for you Cause I cannot conceal this feeling inside
Hello? I'm fine, thank you. What's up? What? <laughs> Look, of course you know that's not possible. W what? For Christ's sake, I am off duty today. <sighs> Look, no, 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 no. Listen, listen, just listen to me. It's not going to work. You know why? Because already I have promised my husband I'm going to be at home today. I'm actually expecting him to come back. I'm just getting ready. He's almost here. No, no, no. That, that, that's not happening. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to say no. But this is not fair now. This is not right. I mean, to do all this, I mean, I'm supposed to be at home waiting for my husband to come back for once. Damn it. Okay, you know, you know, it's, it's okay, fine, fine. This is, it's okay. I'll, 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 I'll just be on my way, but just for the record, I mean, this is not fair. You can't keep doing this to me every time. Man, whatever, bye. Oh. <laughs> oh, but seriously, Kati, you look very beautiful in this. Seriously? Wow. Well, thank you. My brother, I I hope my husband sees it the same way. Oh, come on, you will. You know, I mean, this, this overtime that I'm putting in this job is really taking a toll on my marriage. It's causing a whole lot of strain on it. You need to see the stress my sister-in-law put in just to get me this outfit. I hope I achieve my M at the end of the day. Oh, you will. You will. I mean, it's, she's just a darling, really. Well, um, Kati, I'm really very sorry over the problems you've been having with your husband lately. Um, just last week, the medical board met and the issue of uh, employing new surgeons came up. But as usual, it's the issue of how much can we pay them compared to what they get in bigger hospitals or abroad and all that. Yeah, yeah, right. Same, same old, same old. Same old excuse every time. I don't get it. I don't understand this country. I mean, you say that our leaders actually prefer to go abroad to get medical services rather than put money into our hospitals for us to all enjoy good facilities. I don't get it. Oh, well, do they even feel it to start with? All they do is to take the extra coats and, you know, have the bills settled with taxpayers' money. And that's all. They don't feel it. God will help us. It's just a terrible situation. Let me just go. I'm tired. I'm All sleep. Right. No I hope problem, you don't call me up again tomorrow. Please. No, no, you have to be right tomorrow. Good night. Take care of yourself, right? Yeah.
Hi. Wow, what a pretty dancer. God damn it. What a nice ass of God. <laughs> you see, there's a saying that the windows are the eyes of the soul. And I think I want to use mine now. Seagull, come with us. We'll change everything about you. Uh, guys, look, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, I, I, I just have a little bit of a problem. You know, my car broke down, but it, it's not a problem. My, my husband is on his way. <laughs> husband? <laughs> Did you just say husband? No, no. <laughs> What's a tragedy, my girl? A tragedy of momentous proportion. Wait a minute. You mean you've been giving all this to just one man? Yeah. <laughs> Baby, you don't have to be stingy about this, okay? Be a cheerful giver. Um, look, guys, um... You, you, you all seem like very nice people, you know, very nice people. Um, actually, I was just going home. Like I said, I, I, I'm married, guys. I'm, I'm married. Man, man. <laughs> Jay, this one are correct. You will take her. Me and BJ don't mind. We we'll go with a remnant. You know what I mean? Hey, guys, let's get down with this chick, man. Why are we wasting time for? I know you're trying to play hard here, okay? But forget it. I'll pay you off. You need money? You want me to show you? Okay, okay, fine. I think I think we are getting this whole thing misunderstood. Um, I'm actually a medical doctor, a, a, a surgeon, like I operate on people, you know. So I, I'm I'm not a prostitute. A doctor? Shit! <laughs> a surgeon? <laughs> Look, man. If I were sick, this is the type of doctor I want to take care of me. Go give me some treatment, baby. I'm not, I'm, I'm not a prostitute. I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding. Seriously. Oh my God, stop this. Please, please. You know what I mean? I'm mad. Oh you know what I mean? Get inside it, man. Hey, Jay, 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 she can get now. Your wife has mm. been through a traumatic experience. Please. Yeah, that's true. Thank God they only took the car. It's even old. The fact is you're safe and sound. It's okay. I hope it's okay. Please. I still think that you should do a proper checkup. Please. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Checkup? What is he, what is she checking up for? Why should my wife check up? <laughs> Vivian? Did those bastards hurt my wife? Messi and that of his friends. Today, just look at him. This is the bastard who raped me. I never forget it. Hati, can you do this? I mean, can you do this? We can risk waiting for some other soldiers to come by. Can you do this? <laughs> 
can you do this? <gasps> Come down. Let's begin. All right, everyone. Let's swing it to action. Do it again. Do it again. And seven down. Just do it one more time. Kati, do, Kati, no, just try. Kati, you did your best. He had lost too much blood before he got to us. It's not your fault. Come on, put yourself together and call it. Come on, call it. Time of death. 3.13. Alright, um, good work everyone. Nurse, wrap the body and I'll do the paperwork later. You win some, you lose some. That's all about the job. Now, wrap it up. So I want you to do a comprehensive breakdown of all we need to get and how much it will cost for the rallies, okay? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, I'll get back to you. There you are. I've been worried. What kept you? I'm afraid, Honorable. I have some bad news. What is it again? Um, it, um, it's about your son. I knew it. It must be the one. What has he done this time? Uh, I'm sorry, Honorable. He was stabbed. <laughs> I just got a call from the IG. My son stabbed? Where is he? Where is my son? He's, he's presently in the hospital. He's been operated on. Eh? I'm doing my son. Can't see everything. Poor woman. And she was so generous to the hospital. I just got a call from her now, and she's on her way here. I think I have to wait until she gets here before I give her the bad news. We did our best, sir. But I guess our best wasn't good enough. He was as good as dead when he got to the hospital. Where is Dr. Adrian? Wasn't she on leave? Why is she working so soon after the incident? I feel responsible for what happened to her. You know, it is our duty that if our personnel, especially the female ones, have to work late in the night and go home, we are to ensure that they get home safe. She was so, so disturbed. I had to let her go home immediately. Excuse me, sir. 
Yes, yes, ma'am. Yeah. What can I do? Sir, I think you need to say this. What do I need to see here? I cross-reference the semen and blood samples given to us by the police some time ago concerning the rape of Dr. Adrian, and that was the same as his son. Why? It's just standard procedure that the computer automatically cross-references any samples tested with the ones already in existence in the data bank in case of any matches it gives us an alert. And what does that mean? That the senator's son is one of those boys that raped Dr. Adrian? Sadly, I'm afraid so, sir. My friend, get out of my office. You want me to lose my job? But, sir, this is a police case. And I feel that it should be reported. This is prime evidence to arrest in the culprit. My friend, I said get out of my office. Get out! Can you see all these new scientists with their God-forsaking computers? Bro, I'm afraid it's true, sir. What is true? He was one of the criminals. How can you be positive? And don't tell me it is all this computer... Dr. Adrian identified him the moment she saw him. <laughs> Let me see if I get this, Dr. Phil. You mean Dr. Adra identified the boy and you still allow her to go ahead with the operation? There was nobody on ground. We had to go in. She was the only one available. Do you know what will happen if this gets out? The senator will sue us for complicity over her son's death. And even the medical council, they will even seize her license. How can you just sit there, Greg, and tell me that you're going to spend the entire weekend with Susan and your friends? How can you? Baby, this is really nothing. Pete and Katie are having problems, so I'm just, you know, trying to solve it. So? So what? I mean, you're so quick, you're in a hurry, you know, to go and solve their problems and then neglect the ones that we're having. No, no, I'm not neglecting you all. Yeah? The thing is, as a matter of fact, I love being with you, you know that. Oh, stop it. Don't just give me that crap. Don't give me that crap, Greg. Please. Thank God, I thought you loved me. I mean, what's stopping you from being with me? What's stopping you from being with me? Carrying your child. Why can't you just introduce me to your friends? <clears throat> okay, you know what? When I come back, I'm going to introduce you to all my friends, all right? No way. I'm not buying that. I don't believe you. I mean... I thought you said you are going to get a divorce. What's up with that? What's up with the divorce? What? Yes. Yes, that's right. I'm going to get a divorce. As soon as I come, I'm going to get a divorce. I'm going to be with you forever. Is this how you intend to get a divorce? By spending the entire weekend with Susan? Is this how you intend to get a divorce? No, I'm not spending the weekend with Susan. No. We are in different hotels like... That's where the hotel is. Ah, Bullshit! Bullshit! No, 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 don't mess with my tangent, please. Don't mess with me. What do you think if I think I'm stupid? Goodness! This guy must think I'm crazy! This guy, you think I'm you think I'm you think I'm a fool? You think I'm dumb? Now listen to me. You are going to go to Susan and all your friends. Tell them to go for the for, for the weekend or whatever. But then you're coming back and you're staying here with me. And that's period. That's final. Yeah. Okay. Come on, let me see. Come on, let me see. Please, take a seat. Doctor, forget it. How is my son? Where is he? I still feel it. Doctor, what is going on? Is he still in the operating room? Yes. I'm sorry, we, we lost him. What? Let everybody know today that you can get a job. You are not man enough. 
So who was that? My children, that's why you are about to kill us. I'm talking to you. Hey, hey, hey. Why don't you start threatening me, huh? For as long as you sit down and not get a job, that's what I will do. I will keep threatening you. Get a job! You are too useless. So how long are you going to use my present state of joblessness as a tool to insult me? Have you forgotten those times when I... Have you forgotten, forgotten what? Now pick up my bag. Huh? Pick it up! Pick it up! Oh, you're embarrassed now. For as long as you continue to sit on your ass and do nothing whilst I take care of you and pay the bills, I will continue to do that. So don't ask me stupid questions. Who would want to employ a sack area bag manager anyways? Besides, who is responsible for my sack? Are you blaming me for your sack? You see what you're doing? You're blaming me for your sack right now. So you're taking sides with that dirty-minded man who's sitting down on my cleavage. You see what you're doing? And that witch, Sally. Keep quiet. People are around here. Like, keep up. Look at this useless man. Who cares if you are around? Why are you looking at that? Why? Haven't you seen uh, uh, somebody talking to the husband? Shut up there. Look, I'm talking to you. Don't, don't, don't tell. People are around so what? Let them know how stupid you are. Let them have pity on you. Stupid man. Keep going, keep going. People are around. Shut up. What nonsense? Why? Why? Is it my fault he's broke? Is it my fault? Why can't I talk to my husband anyway? No, the party. Excuse me, uh, Joanne? Yeah? Joanne? <laughs> you really? Oh, could you recognize me? I'm sorry, I... Claire, come on. Oh, Claire! Hi! <laughs> hey. oh, hello. How are you doing? Oh, I'm good, I'm fine. Oh, nice to see you. What are you doing? How is the family and everyone? <laughs> and um, are you married or still single as I am? You can say that again. I'm single and searching. No, it's actually an emotional problem that I'm out here trying to solve. I know this man that can be so so unfair. I get it. I know. Are you telling me? You give them your all and all. When they've had their fill, they dump you. It's crazy, but it's the truth. But I mean, come on, you're still born again, right? Yeah, yeah, I go to church. <laughs> so you mean you but against actually go through the same trouble that we do? What are you talking about? Don't you know that it's the so-called born again brothers that are the worst heartbreakers? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Bosha, I thank God for the kind of man that I have. Because, you know, we've come to a very cool understanding that he's going to divorce his wife and marry me. Excuse me? Yeah. Listen, girl. He will not leave his wife and kids for you. That girl, he doesn't even have any child. I'm carrying his first child. What? Yes, I am. <laughs> girl, I am. <laughs> hey, my top camp, smart enough, I don't ask you. <laughs> what do you trouble with a fresh I'm like a this? I'm a good job. Hey, good. Wow, so how far gone are you? I'm um, like, um, two months. Really? Mm -hmm. Hey. Nothing do you all. Nothing do me. <laughs> so what's up now? Mm. What's you pressurize him? Put pressure on him to leave his wife. Girl, yeah, I've done that. I put serious pressure on that brother. You know what? This weekend he was supposed to plan some trip with his with um his friends, wives, all of them. They're supposed to go on a weekend. And I told him to cancel it. He said they were supposed to go help out one of their friends whose wife was raped. Whose wife was raped? Yes, one of them. Wife was raped. I told him to cancel it. He cancelled it for me. <laughs> Are we talking about same group of friends here? No group of friends. What's his name? My man. Yeah. Greg. Why? Hmm. Has he ever mentioned a boy? Yeah. He yeah, he, he mentioned boy a couple of times. They're, they're very close friends. He's a pastor. Interesting. And did you Say the woman raped a doctor? Yes. Yeah. What's yeah. going on? 
Hold on, let me land. <laughs> Did you say he accepted your insistence not to go with the others? He cancelled it. He's not. He didn't go with them. He cancelled it. Girlfriend, he lied to you. No, he lied to you. Right now, as we're talking, they are at Ivy Bush Resort catching their group. How do you know that? How do you know that? I'm, I'm dating the pastor, boy. <laughs> Girl, if it's the same group I'm talking about, shine your eyes. <laughs> oh my. How can you say nothing happened? Does he know how much it cost me to hang out this weekend? Oh my God. Susie, I mean, uh, what is wrong with you? Is that what is bothering you really? Is that what is really bothering you? Sometimes you could be so annoying and so unfeeling sometimes. Nonsense. Listen, Katty, listen to me, all right? Do not be discouraged, okay? We still have two more days here, okay? I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. I mean, if, if he had even told me to come out in the open to say what the problem is, I would have, I would have known how to handle it. But no, no, he, he, he acts and walks around like everything is fine. When both of us know that everything is wrong. What am I supposed to do? Greg says that it's the thought of you being raped that, you know, puts him off. Of course I know that. Obviously that's the reason, but what can I do? What can I do about it? Can I rape myself? Listen, listen to me. Can I? Listen to me, Katya, just listen to me, okay? With time, we'll get over all this, all right? But you have to keep behaving as if everything is okay and normal, all right? Listen, but one more thing, very important thing. Do not fight with him. It will only aggravate issues. I mean, men are like babies, they will always come around. Okay, sweetie? Look at it, I promise you. I will talk to Pete myself. <laughs> Look, I know that he's acting really crazy and stupid. I've already asked Bo to talk to him. Please. As Dom says, just put the chin up. You can do this, girlfriend. You can do it. I know it's not. I wish it was easy. I wish it was an easy thing to do. <laughs> you girls have no idea. You have no idea of what I am going through. I am going through hell. I am scared of sleeping at night because of the nightmares I see. And yet in the daytime I walk around and then I just, I just wander into a dreamland. You don't know what I'm going through. Okay. I'm just, I'm losing my mind. Listen, I'm going crazy. It's, it's not your portion, okay? It is not your portion. <gasps> Listen to me, it is not your portion, sweetie, all right? It is not. Say amen to that, girls. Amen. Okay. Amen. Okay. I understand you were in the operation with Dr. Andre. Yes. She was the team leader. You don't mind why I'm asking. I don't mind. Like I earlier said, she was the team leader. I mean, she's one of the best, or rather the best surgeon we have in the hospital. I see. And doctor, are you aware of any relationship between the doctor and the disease? I don't think I understand what kind of relationship you're talking about. I'm talking about the alleged rape. Please, doctor, I would like you to cooperate with me to come out playing with this. Because your CMD, yeah, has told me everything that transpired. Please, officer, I will equally appreciate it if you ask me a direct question. That way, we'll both save our time. Okay, I think you have a point there. The kid at any time identified the disease as one of the people who raped her. Officer, let me say it categorically clear. Dr. Andre did her best. But the fact still remains that the disease lost too much blood. And she, I mean, he went on cardiac arrest before we could arrest the flow. So she did identify him as one of the people that supposedly raped her. If she said he did, 
So be it. Now, my question is, given the situation on ground, is it not a reasonable assumption that because of the emotional attachment between them, she really fully killed him? Dr. Kati would do no such thing, no matter the provocation. I mean, detective, before you become a doctor, you swear an oath to protect life, no matter the situation. I see. Correct me if I'm wrong, doctor. Your CMD just told me that this oath equally forbid the doctor from treating a close family or friend, especially forbid the doctor from treating the person that is emotionally bound with. Is that true? Uh, detective, yes. The oath did specify that. But with the situation at hand now, there was nobody more qualified or readily available. Dr. Kati is the only, I mean, experienced surgeon that can handle that. Do you by any chance know where Dr. Andre is presently? Your CMD, you told me you two are close. I, well, she's on the weekend with her husband. Really? Where to? Please, doctor, I will appreciate if you cooperate with me. Okay, I don't really know, but maybe in any of these hotels in town. Thank you very much. Now, will you be so kind to accompany me to the state house? Why? Well, you are a primary witness to our investigation. It's better off for you to stay in our custody. Okay, officer. Would that still be necessary? He has cooperated with you. It is very important. Don't you understand? This is a murder case, not a civil case. And what if I refuse? At least till my lawyer comes. You have the right to call your lawyer before you put down your statement. But if you refuse to come with me to the state house, I will press charges for resisting arrest and also use a reasonable force on you. Where? One day, what to work out of my business? Why is it my fault? You're, you're always talking off point. Are you are simply can take care of Greg! Greg, did you just hear. Stupid. Is it yours? Did you just hear, just hear what he just called me? Other men would have just gotten up and defended their wife. What are you doing? Really nice drinking. <laughs> and I'm talking. So, can you please keep quiet? This gadget is about you. Remember? Temper, temper. Why is somebody angry over here? Yes, I am. As a matter of fact, you are pissing me off. You mustn't make everywhere battleground. You mustn't argue all the time. But the boy, what's happening to your wife? Are you not giving her some? She needs some. Give her some, please. You know what? She wants some. So you know what? I've had it up to here with you. Okay? You can go about. You can boast about your kind of being an ex minister of bullshit. That is still news. But right now, as a silly, you're just a silly ass bitch. You're sitting there pretending to everyone that you are something when you're nothing. We know you. You are, are the silly girl. Oh, shut up. You have been stuck on me. You are the, the silly girl. girl. You have been stuck on me. You are the silly girl. Shut up. Sit down. Susan, can we have this? Oh, shut up! Who's talking to you? Is it my fault that your wife was raped? What is wrong with you? Fuck! Fuck you! Oh, shut up! Shut, 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 shut the fuck up, you bitch! Oh, 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 why don't you just concentrate on marriage? Would you prefer another woman to take your husband? Is that what you want? No, oh, please. Nobody can take him away. Please. Good riddance to bad company. Bye! Go! Oh, really? <laughs> you all heard her, huh? So, my man, that leaves the course clear for you. Do what you have to do. Okay? How could you I told you confidence, right? She started it. Look, it's about time she's given a good awakening. Okay, what is going on here? Greg! Greg! Hmm? Why are you bothered? Huh? You said it right now that whatever happens to me is none of your concern. I'm not talking to you. Shut up. Greg! Hmm? What is going on? What are they talking about? 
And he's walking. Oh, just shut up, okay? Just, just shut up. Are, are you talking? Just shut up. Could you start talking. Just shut up. What are you talking? Stop talking. Please. Please. I don't want to hear anything. Please. What is going on? It's for us to know and for you to find out. Okay? Simple. Bullshit. Y'all can Fine take now. this, your stupid get together. Yeah. Susan, rubbish. Susan! Oh, please. Susan! You lost my hair, you useless! Susan! Lovely way to start a day. Oh my god. I mean, these people are so impossible. I mean, must they be always arguing like this? God! I don't really understand them, honestly. I don't. Babes. Those two guys are actually discussing them right now. I can bet you. <laughs> Maybe the secret is finally out. Um, what secret? You've not heard. <laughs> heard what? Uh, no, actually, I, 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 didn't, I didn't say anything. <laughs> no, sweetie. For the meantime, no problem. Didn't tell me anything. But right now, you're going to so talk about it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. Look, babes, there is nothing to tell. I don't tell tales that I'm not sure of. Listen to me, Katie. We are friends, okay? We are like sisters. I mean, you can't keep this kind of information away from me. Oh, okay, babes. You know what? Just cut off, cut off the blackmail. I mean, that's so cheap. God. Don't make me do this, please. Catherine Andren, you had better start talking right now or I beat it out of you. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I dare you. Oh, mm -hmm. are you kidding me? I dare Okay, you. I'm gonna walk straight to Peter and tell him everything you said. No, no, no! Oh, 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 my goodness, God, please! You're so impossible! Just sit down, sit down, sit down, sit I'm down. Start talking, down right now. Oh, I'm waiting. Start talking. Look, yeah. you, you, you have to just promise me that you will keep your mouth shut. Oh you wouldn't tell anyone. Sweetie, I mean, you can trust me. I cross my heart. My mouth are sealed to so talk. No, no one is watching. Them. You will not say I said, because I did not say. Yeah, cross my heart, okay? Mm -hmm. My mouth are sealed. Breaking news. I overheard Pete saying that Greg is actually having an affair. And the woman in question is. Oh my god! Oh, she's oh, she's oh, she's oh, she's Angel, I didn't say anything. Jesus Christ. Mm. Are you serious? God. Susan caught me at the wrong time. I just had to get back at her. And you do that by writing on what he told us in confidence? You know, I technically said nothing. What you said was enough to make her suspicious. Well, it will be out sooner or later. That is not the point. The point is, you shouldn't have said anything. You should have left him to say it. Let him be the one to say it. I left the honor to him. That is if he's man enough. You know the truth? I'm happy Susan can be a witch sometimes. You know what? You guys are a handful. Just a handful. Just look at it from the right side. God made you a pastor to specifically save us. Huh? Think of it. What would have been of us if you weren't there to steer us through the straight and narrow path? No, look, this is not a joking matter, okay? It's not a joking matter at all. Okay. Who is joking? <laughs> Boy, talk to Kat. It's becoming too much. Do I look like I was born yesterday? Hmm? I know there's something going on between you and the guys. Are you going to tell oh, me? Baby, come on. Those guys are just trying to get to you. Don't worry about that. Honey, kitchy, kitchy. Okay, see, this is what I hate. When you start to speak talk, I mean, then I know there's something up. Are you going to tell me or should I walk up to the guys and find out? Baby, no, don't walk up to the guys. Don't worry. It's nothing really to worry about. They're just drunk. Listen. Okay. Greg, hmm? if I find out uh -huh. that you're lying to me, me, don't, don't do that. I will make your life miserable. You know I can. It's really not. So are you going to tell me? Do I it's go? really nothing. Now, baby, come, let's talk. See the nice bikini I bought for you, baby. Yes, nice. please. Oh, darling, you didn't buy for me. I bought no. it for myself. <laughs> Don't get it. Oh. Shit. Oh, what? What is that bitch doing here? Who? Who? Where? Oh. I wonder oh. who she came to the room. I detest this girl. Oh, baby, you know what? Come, come let, let's go. Let's go to the room now. Did she, did she just call you? No, 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 no,
No, no, come on, let's just go to the room. Let's get our groove on like yesterday, baby. You are hot. You're like, yes, I was. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, darling, I'm not going anywhere. Okay, okay. okay you know what? Let me just go to Panama. Let me go. Do not move an inch, okay? Claire, have you become so desperate that you pop from one hotel room to the another in search for a prey? Now, I so don't have your time right now. Darling, I'm still waiting. My husband is not going anywhere, darling, so shoot, move along, okay? Go. <laughs> darling, let me tell you something. Marriage is actually between a man and a woman. Last time I checked, <laughs> are you sure you're a woman? Yeah. Sweetie, I, I know you're sad and everything because you're desperate, okay? So you're in search for a husband. But darling, I am the one who's happily married and you are not. Okay, so just move along. <laughs> Oh, you're the side one, you know that, because when you get my girl, you're supposed to make keys. You have anything to show for yourself? Anyway, never mind, because I always knew that you're just the man in women's clothing. Oh, me! You have me bloody and put it Oh, you're bad! Oh, bring it out, girl! Oh, bring it out! 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 I'm carrying his child. And only need Greg to be able to take responsibilities too. But you know what? Greg deceived me. He told me that the entire weekend was cancelled. Only for me for me to come here and he's here. Look, uh, <clears throat> you should have just waited for him till he returns so you guys can sort these things out. You understand? I don't I don't see it's necessary that you you have to fly all the way down here knowing the fact that he's gonna be back by tomorrow. <laughs> I need him. I mean, I can carry this baby alone all by myself. I mean, just a little time from Greg. Is that too much to ask for? But I know he devotes time back home, right? Or is it that you came here out of jealous rage at Susan? So? So damn what? I mean, Susan is just a freaking bitch. She doesn't treat him right. She treats him like that. She doesn't even have respect for him. Why can't I have him? Why can't I? Listen, I'm, I'm like his business partner. I'm for crying out loud, Jesus, I'm the one carrying the baby. The, the, the truth is, he's a married man. There is nothing we can do about it. So, does that mean she should go ahead and mistreat him? Eh? I mean, if Susie was treating Greg right, he would come looking for me. Look, whatever the problem is, whatever problems they are faced with, they are going to handle it. They are married people, okay? You stay out of it. Or have you forgotten what God said about separating what he has joined? You! Just leave me alone, you hypocrite! Beg your pardon? There is nothing to beg here. You mean, you think I don't know what you're up to? What I think you're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> Not that kind of person. Huh? <laughs> Am I? <clears throat> Ain't you, boy? Huh? Ain't you the one who's dating Joanne? <laughs> Go on, tonight. God, I mean, why would she just leave? I, I swear to God, I do not know. Do you think that still has no idea? So it's very bad. I don't know who she is. So much for your vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Greg, please. You guys are not saying anything. I asked you who that girl was, Claire, and you assured me that you didn't know her. Now she has the effrontery to walk in here asking for Greg. So why don't you, why don't you let this lie? Why don't you allow Greg to walk over to her? Who knows? She might have found him a... A job. A job. A job for Greg. A job. Yes. A job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God forbid that. That Greg ever works for that girl. I would rather become a carrot stick. Now do you understand that? See, I don't understand you, Susan. You treat Greg as if you don't care yet you're so protective of him. Greg is my husband. Mine and only mine. I am the only one who has the right to push or boss him around. Uh, you know... So, okay. I'm talking, please. Is that understood? Yeah. Is that understood? Sure. Um, okay, okay, just relax. Hmm? Uh, this is what we shall do. Uh, Greg will not see her. And you, in turn, will go back to your room without causing a scene. Do I cause a scene? <clears throat> Do I cause a scene? 
hello, I'm asking somebody here. Do I cause a scene? Okay. I cause a scene. Okay, I'll go to my room. But you have to assure me that Greg is coming. Yeah. Yes, yes. Why sure, not? sure, why not? As long as you behave. As long as you... Fine, I will behave. Okay. How you take her to the room while I go sort Claire out? Greg will be joining. Five minutes. Five minutes. Sure, he will. Or I'll cause the scene that you're thinking of. Listen, I'm talking, please. Would you keep quiet? Goodness. Look, uh, it's not what you think, okay? There is nothing to even think about. Why did you call yourself again? Pastor? And yet you're screwing with your folks. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you are such a huge disgrace. And God should have mercy on you, Pastor. <laughs> hey, Jake. <laughs> Where's Greg? <laughs> Miss, he will be here presently. But right now he's going to fix a room for... You two, so you can have a private discussion if you get my drift. Oh my god, I love that man. He's such a lovely person. You see, Susie doesn't deserve him. He should be with me. You know, he tells me how Susie mistreats him. Yeah, yeah. But Claire, you must promise me something. What is it? As long as you're here, yeah. you must stay away from Susan. If she comes anywhere close to me, I will so crush her. She better stay the hell away from me. Uh, let's not talk about that right now, okay? What I want you to do is swear on your honor right here right now that you must stay away from her. I think you should leave the swear of it. A bit of promise would do. Pastor? Excuse me. Dr. Ibrahim, now. Party? Party? Yeah, okay. Dr. Katrin Edrain, we met from the force headquarters. You're under arrest. You're under arrest for the murder of Adi Tola Williams. You have the right to remain silent, or whatever you say can or shall be used against you in the court of law. Take her let's go. Uh, no, no, wait, wait. Excuse me. Um, yes, um, I'm sorry. Um, I'm embarrassed. Hey, Boyd. Did I just hear you say that my client has been arrested for the murder of a Excuse me. What were you when you raped her? What did you do? Nothing? I arrested her. I would advise you to keep out of this. No, I would not stay out of nothing. Like I rightly said, she is my client and I'm responsible for her. So you cannot come in here without a warrant or anything to take her out. No, it wouldn't happen. Can we see you? No, 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 no. I am talking to you, Superior. And it's nice to bring your hands. Take that hunk of off. Barrister, I guess you know what to do. If you want to help your client, you can come down to the force headquarters. Oh, yes, I do know what to do. My hands must have managed. If you want her, I'll bring her to your station. Let me sing the day of her life. She has nothing to hide. She didn't kill. Bye bye. Oh. Arresting. If you refuse us from arresting her, I will arrest both of you. And you lose your job. Take her. Take the trouble. No, 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 no. She has no trying to help the man. Just listen to me. Take the trouble. Then I'm going to have her. You will kill 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 her. She has to go. You will go her. Arrest me. They're going to lose their job. What's the meaning of all this? Please, Maya. Go ahead. It's okay. It's alright, okay. I'll take this one. Oh, cool. Let's get out of here. Stop the time, listen, 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 listen. Please, man, I'll take this one. I'm taking it easy, I'm taking it easy, please. I mean, you can't just do this, okay? Please, listen to me, please. The game is this. If you check that into another game, right? So just spend a little time, make an excuse. Her room number is 247. Okay, right, right. Thank you. Hello? Yeah, 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 honey. Hey, Tiger. Want to bite? Huh? Greg. Now. 
Yes, you promised. You said we should come up and do bad things. Come, baby, come. <laughs> baby. Mm -hmm. Hello? Are you here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop it! What's this? You advise not to tap any police affair. Like hell, I won't. That's my wife in handcuffs. What's going on here? Listen to me. If you want to see her, we're taking her to the police command. If you want to see her, you come over there. You are not that. taking her anywhere. Do you hear me? You we're not taking her nowhere. Set her free right now. Set what free? Set us free. Get that out of here. Hey, hey, stop this. If you don't do this, I'm going to do something you will already. What are you going to do? Let's go. You, you, what? what? Tell him to do. You shoot me. Tell him to do. You shoot me. You shoot me. 